This is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, part one for Xbox 360, but shh, I'm sneaking. I'm Harry Potter, but I'm under an invisibility cloak, surrounded by bad guys looking for someone. You should know how I feel about sneaking around in video games like a coward. It's a waste of my video game time, which is why I spell sneak differently than most people. I spell sneak with a B, as in BOOM! There's nothing that sneaking around will accomplish that brute force can't do better. And Harry Potter, the boy wizard now 57 years old, knows this. Which is why in this video game, Harry Potter goes gangster. This isn't Namby Pamby potion mixing relationship building game. This is Harry Potter with the virtual equivalent of a plasma assault rifle. Back on your feet, soldier! Get up and curb stomp that guy into something! You need to learn to be an action star! You can't let little things like Death Eaters and Dragons defeat you even if they do light you on fire. Get back up, poke out his eyeballs, and mix a potion with them to make you irresistible to the ladies. Was that in the movie? Or did I just add that and forget about it? That, that, that must have been it. The name of this game is all wrong though. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. This should be called Dirty Harry Potter. Go ahead, you weak ass forces of darkness. Make my day. I'm Dirty Harry Potter. I'm a magician. And I'll turn you inside out and make you wear your intestines as a hat. Hey, the Pimp Trex 9000 version of this game is looking pretty rockin'. It's also available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and Nintendo Wii and PC, but the Pimp Trex 9000 version comes with the extra service. But even the Xbox 360 version, which I just cut to here, looks really good, doesn't it? It's a good looking game, super high production value, and it literally is Harry Potter meets Shooter. Kind of an odd mix, but it does work. And while it's not a great shooter, it's basically a cinematic adventure starring Harry Potter. This is less video game, more interactive entertainment. Hey, an achievement point! I prefer pimp achievement points. They actually give you something. Basically, if you like Harry Potter and you like action games, you may really dig this one. It doesn't do anything new, but it's a movie-based video game based on a, on a book. It does what it was intended to do well. For those who really aren't so into Harry Potter, you may want to give it a rent just to collect all of the achievement points or trophies or, well, pimp achievement points, but you don't really collect them. You'll cash those in as fast as you get them. Ah, back to this version. There's something strangely enjoyable when mugging people as Harry Potter. Sadly, they evaporate before you can kick them while they're still on the ground, just to teach them a lesson. It's like playing your way through a movie, and with excellent production values and competent controls, if you enjoy Harry Potter and the films, you'll probably find yourself enjoying the game. In addition to the storyline, there's also a number of challenges, and that's the game. Harry Potter. And the Deathly Hallows, part one, if you'd like to call it that, but we know what the real title is. Stupid boss! Oh. The 